Welcome back. Welcome to the show. <laughs> How we doing? It's been a while. It has been a while. You guys thought we were gone, but we've, we're back. We've literally tried kind of every week, kind of. Well, we is a strong word. I tried. No, he's a liar. And you just wanted to close the convenience he's store. He's a liar. Every day was closed. But no. You could never okay. own a 7-Eleven. Listen, listen. <laughs> awesome. It's not closing a convenience store for fighting. What do you mean? No, I mean, if we're, it's close, closing of the convenience stores if we're fighting. Most of the weeks that we weren't able to podcast wasn't because we were fighting. Whatever. It's closed. If it's closed, it's closed. No. The customers it, don't really care it, why. The customers do care why. No, they're Our just customers... trying to buy their Slurpees and they're like, oh, it's no. closed. I can't get a Slurpee because they have family issues Austin. or I can't get a Slurpee because they were too busy to show up to work or it doesn't Our matter. Our customers care why. I no, promise you. I don't they want to so. know why. No. It's because Austin and I have been having conflicting schedules, y'all. And he's been out of town. Life. It's been life. Life has been happening. Yeah. I'm like a growing. Lot of stuff going on. My stomach is itching. It's expanding. Some serious shit's going down. I'm she has a new nickname. <laughs> Why don't it's you tell so them the first nickname? It was Porkito. So Piggy, Porky. Miss Piggy. Yeah, Awesome used Porky to call me Miss Piggy, and I don't even fucking know why. Okay. Okay, that, first of all, that's a lie. <laughs> Second of all, don't touch me. Awesome. Um, no, Miss, yeah, Miss Piggy was the nickname for a while, but now it's my whale. <laughs> it's it's I... so official that it's in my phone. <laughs> Layla changed contact in my phone. <laughs> Did Lee said Layla changed it? Yeah, Layla changed it. Anyways. <sighs> Anyways, we're back. We're back. We missed you. Yes, we did. We missed doing this, I think. Yeah, we're going to be hopefully more regular and stay regular mm -hmm. once a week. Yes, once a week. I'm going to try and get it up. We were on vacation, guys. That's... <laughs> we didn't have to do this enough to be on vacation, sir. Well, when you're your own boss, I guess you could go on vacation whenever you want. Anyways. So, yeah. Thank so you so happening? much for all the support on the last episode. It's hey. our most popping episode. We broke the 10K mark. We're on monetized YouTube. now. Oh, milestones, baby. <laughs> so, what? I gotta. I haven't looked at any of the type of analytics stuff for any of the audio. Oh, it's they're doing well. Is it decent? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you think of the combined total between YouTube and Almost all 3, the audio? Almost three thousand. Uh, three thousand across all the audio. Yeah. So. And which is huge, because I feel like it's easier to watch a podcast than it is to listen to one. I completely disagree. I know you do, because you listen to them all the time at work. But I I think it's easier to keep your attention through video than, you know? Just audio? Yeah. Well, the point, I think, of most podcasts and what made it unique, because you could just have long form video conversations that's not really what podcasts were mm. the the thing that made it unique was it was audio so you could do it while you were doing other things you could so all of a sudden mm. yeah, yeah, yeah you could be learning about shit or whatever while you're driving mm. while you're working while you're running while you're doing the dishes like it's so got to be a really good podcast for me to listen like care to li like i don't know yeah, listen. Well, don't listen to shit podcasts <laughs> I know, like, I used to watch Logan Paul's podcast religiously, and then it got lame. Did it? Yeah. Why? I don't know. The guests, or what? I think I, I don't know. Is I don't so know. what happened with the FBI raiding his house for guns? That was not Logan, that was Jake. I don't know the difference. His brother. What, what happened? It was, Do you know? He, he said it's because of the looting incident in Arizona he like went into a mall when they like looted the Arizona one of the Arizona malls okay. and like filmed uh -huh. and so it was like attached to that but did was he not, like it, i don't think he's he not was allowed looting. to have guns like why did the FBI take I all his guns know. it's strange it's, i don't know um drink of the day 
Oh, yeah. Drink of the day. Brought to you in part. Bubbly. By this delicious mystery beverage. <laughs> we'll remain we'll just call anonymous it... until we are paid. <laughs> just call it cherry flavored sparkling water. Yep. Which is so good. If you haven't tried the cherry flavor, it's so good. So good. It's what are best. you drinking? Coffee? Coffee. Generic coffee that doesn't have a Cheers. brand. Because we're not paid. <laughs> once we're paid, you this should coffee will... coffee. Once we're paid, this, br- needs- this coffee will, <gasps> will magically have a brand that I'll tell you guys about. Asif needs to come out with his own coffee company. Yeah, that's a good idea. Little ASMR moment. Wait, let me. Wait, you do that, and then I'm gonna drink the coffee and the other one. But you gotta whisper. That's how you make ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. I think the first. Po- Topic we should start off as is the one I was talking about the other day. I had so, know. With, so when females have this type of conversation, <laughs> you guys just automatically know what you guys are talking about? Like, yeah. you just read each other's minds and be like, oh yeah. yeah, I know out of all the days exactly <laughs> one conversation that we had and that's exactly what you're talking about now and I don't need to explain anything. Yes, exactly. Okay. Well, you guys have... What is the like telepathic thing yes not asmr like what is that called esp or something whatever yeah anyways i got but but i don't so you got to actually have a conversation with me so i don't know what you're talking about okay so i had an epiphany the other day we were in the shower remember and i was talking about (laughs) (laughs) sorry (laughs) layla in the background we were in the shower we were in the shower and i was talking about Shower together to save water and save the earth. Okay. That's why we shower together. I don't know why we... I don't know if we could say why we actually shower together. What do you mean? Why do we shower together? Soapy titties. Ew. (laughs) Gross. That's why I do it. Anyways. We showered. And I was... I like have my epiphanies in the shower a lot. And I was telling us if I, about like, if a if I had a simpler life, would it be would I be happier? Like if we lived, like my vision is like living in. For some reason, it's the South, <laughs> where it's green. Okay, Colorado is not green; it's a different kind of green. It's like an ugly army. Well, it's super dry here. Dry forest South green. South is humid and I wet like and sticky. wet, sticky greenery. Okay, so that's my vision. Somewhere in the south with lots of trees and greenery. And like a small town, maybe. Listening to country music, bopping in, an, in like a pickup truck and having animals. I don't know. So I feel like, you know, because of social media and everything, everyone's just chasing like... Like material success life. Yeah. Yeah. And it made me, I don't know what made me have that thought process or question everything, but it's been happening lately. Did it start with the like whole horses thing? No. Oh, I guess it's subconsciously, more recent than that? it's more recent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if I could co- totally, you know, it's it'd be such a hard thing to totally give up everything. That uh, yeah, I, I think it is hard, but I think it. Per, I think for most people, it would be beneficial. It would be better for you. Like you'd be happier. And what's? I think co- the whole COVID thing has made me. I guess to be a prepper. Kind of realize that I, not a prepper, but made me realize like I want to be away. From the madness. Yeah. And the chaos. Because I feel like, like, in Canyon City, for example, let's give Canyon City, for example. Mm -hmm. Do you think everyone's, like, freaking out? No, I think it's everything is normal. I think everything's normal. Nothing's changed at all. Yeah. It's probably super duper norm. But I don't know. We need to go to Canyon City. Let's go find out. Yeah. That should be a vlog. 
Okay. Going to Canyon City. Which, if you guys don't know, population what? I don't know, but that would... Someone... I think it's maybe too late. What? But that would have been a... Oh, I don't know. Maybe they would have got canceled for traveling during COVID. But if someone just went, like... Like... Every major city during lockdown mm. and a vlog. And this is what it's like during lo- lockdown in New York and in Denver and in Portland and everywhere. That would be a that would be a good uh, video series. Shout out to all the hoes that, um, Cheers. that were, you know, doing performative... Um, what do you call it? Shout outs about COVID, about staying home and like wearing masks. And now y'all, you know, Wait, what are you talking gave about? up on that. What are you talking about? Okay. So I recently on social media, I've been seeing a lot of bitches. Are the, bitches. Are the, are the okay. strippers wearing masks? Yes, right now? Asif. I told you that already. <laughs> no, but back to my point. Okay. There's a lot of people that when all this was happening, they were like, stay home, wear your mask, don't travel, and criticizing everyone else. Mm-hmm. But guess who's out now because, like, they just, they're Can going it, stir crazy. Do it anymore? Yeah. Those same people. So shout out to you hypocritical hoes. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you get all your thoughts from the programming news media. I see all of you. And you look ridiculous. And some of us haven't forgotten. <laughs> but, so, yeah. Oh, we you know what we really should talk about? What? Layla's remote schooling experience. So, it's back to school. <sighs> Summer is over. I'm so... The children are back in school. Annoyed. But they're not back in school. If I wanted to be a teacher... It's really a shit show. A shit show, y'all. Really, what do you think is going to be the long-term outcome of this? Because I think it's very clear for most people that have children uh, by now that there are so many unsolvable problems with public school system. Mm-hmm. That's really and I don't think there's a lot of arguments to be made for it to be the best solution for Has kids. Has it gotten it worse since we were kids? I feels like it. I don't know. What do you mean war? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Because but I didn't think about that stuff until Layla was in school. Like, like you don't, I think as like, obviously, you don't think about like, maybe I should live in a decent school district, you know? You don't think about that until like second grade is when it hits you, I think. <laughs> mm. At least that's what happened to me. I was like, hmm. That was not, like, on the priority list for some reason. Yeah. It should have been. Yeah, well, I mean... I guess because she was going probably to for, Probably for most people it is already on the priority list, but that's because we had kids younger than most people these days. Mm-hmm. So we didn't even know what was going on in the world yet. Mm. But, so, remote schooling, let me tell y'all. I feel so bad for the teacher. I feel so bad for the kids. It's literally... I would just like to take this moment nobody's to address how dramatic you are. No. You're so <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> literally. You... Asif came home, like, first week of school was last week, and I was like, Asif, I can't do it. Layla can't do it. We can't do it. <laughs> it was, like, all week she's been telling me what a shit show it is, how insane the whole, like, no one is going to be able to do this, no one's showing up, everyone drops out halfway through the day, the teacher doesn't understand the technology. She doesn't. She's just yelling at everyone. She is. Half the kids aren't even there anyways. They're yelling at the teacher. And then it's all teacher. bullshit the whole time that they spend on there. Just m- making it sound like the biggest disaster you could fucking imagine. That's what it feels like in my head. And then I was off on Friday, and she was doing... I she, was doing my thing. And so I'm the one there, and I'm, like, just waiting. Like, okay, we're going to see <laughs> what a disaster this is. It was a I, shit show. I, I didn't have a dog in the fight. I didn't, like... I wasn't, like, rooting for it to be great or rooting for it to be a disaster. I was just like, let's see what it is. I mean, it was what I would expect. Which is without what? Without all the drama that you've been brainwashing me with. Like, it's like everyone's Not just trying true. to do their best. Let me tell you all the first Like, it's day. like, it's exactly like if you would imagine what a public school teacher 
for elementary school would be doing in this situation. I have like, high that's expectations. That's exactly what it is. Okay, I have high expectations. High expectations for what? For public school? Mm-hmm. I had such... What did you learn in public school that you think like really Not helped shit, you in your life? But that's my. Point. I had a positive public school experience at the same time. Does what does that, that make mean? Sense? No, what does that mean? Like. I love elementary school, and I feel like Layla does not love elementary school. I feel like she's loved it since she's been at the school she's at. I don't see how. I don't see how either, but, like, maybe it's just, like, you just don't know any Like, I feel like they don't have electives, like, even before COVID. Like, I feel like, like, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. All that shit has been gutted. That's so crazy to me. I mean... Even when we were kids, it was gutted compared to the previous generations. They used to have like shop class and woodworking class and mm-hmm. all of that stuff. Like we didn't have that, but now they don't even have like art and like uh, music class and stuff. Like sh- it's all elective now. No, but we need to talk about the remote learning experience. Let me tell you all first day, okay? First day, little Muslim kid. I just had to put it out there. <laughs> he was chilling on camera like this. <laughs> flipping everyone off the entire time like just waiting to get a in reaction his, in his zoom video just literally he flipping was, the bird he non-stop was, yeah just chilling like listening with his headphones like this he would get tired and like you would see him like put his arm down and then he'd be like this <laughs> it was the funniest shit ever and how I found out was I was, like, upstairs, and Layla's, Layla, like, before something crazy happens, like, Layla will scream and then, like, die laughing. And so I, like, came when down. When something crazy happens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said before something well, crazy like, happens. Well, like. Like telepathic. Whatever. You get what I'm response. saying. It was so, I was like, what? What happened? <laughs> she was, like, dying. Because of the kid flipping everyone off? Yeah. And the teacher, I was like, wow, she's such an angel. Like, she's ignoring him. Like, she probably just didn't notice. She know, n- Yeah. No, I think her patience levels decreased. I think she legit probably just never no, noticed. No, also, she was, he was chilling. Hey, easy on the mics, will you? <laughs> he was chilling. It was crazy. And, like, laying down. Like, kids are laying down. Like, obviously, I'd be laying down, I too. Mean, I th- I think and dropping like flies. I think I, it would be hard to get all of those animal children back into line after this long of a break, even if they're at regular school. Yeah. So it was the first like few days of the, getting back from this extra break that COVID caused. On top of that, it's over the computer, and it's like anyone over the age of thirty, that shit is a struggle to understand new technology. Mind you, mind you. And then all on shitty top of computers. that. Yeah, shitty computers. Shitty computers. Shitty school provided computers. And then on top of that, the other people dealing with the technology are like seven-year-olds. <laughs> like 47-year-olds. So it's going to be a struggle. But it wasn't as bad as what I thought you made it sound no, like. No, it, it was. it's pretty bad. I think more, more shit went down when I was supervising. I think this shows the power of mind... And consciousness. I guess. Because if you think it's horribly shitty, in your reality, it really is horribly shitty. No. And if I just don't think it's that bad, then in my reality, it really just isn't that bad. No, Austin, because in the beginning, I was like, this is going to be great. Like, me and Layla are going to have... Because when COVID hit and, like, they had to do that last, like, month at school... Off they of didn't, school, you mean? Yeah, or, but, like, remote learning... They didn't expect them to be on camera for eight hours sitting there all day, like in an actual, like on camera. It was like, okay, you pop in on Zoom and then you do your work. Right. The morning, the first morning, it was like morning routine. Like you're supposed to get on I think this is better though. No, it's not. I think it's better. No, it isn't. Once they get all the kinks worked out of how to do everything, I think it's better. They, they have... It feels much more like sitting in a classroom. You have, you see other children, you talk to other children, you have some social interaction no. besides just like being by yourself doing homework. Were all day. you weren't paying attention on Friday, sir? Because it was, it was like a classroom. No, they weren't allowed to talk to each other. The teachers screaming at them, "Mute your mic! Mute your mic!" Like nobody's talk, nobody's interacting with one another. Yeah, they need to. They need to do something about that. They need to be. So, they need to have some time to interact. N- well, so you're. You just got debunked. 
Okay. But even Cause... just seeing all the other kids, you feel like I could see it felt like she wasn't by herself. No, well, it's depressing. The whole thing's but depressing. But being completely by yourself is more depressing is what I'm saying. No, because Layla busted out her work in like two hours and then she got mm. the rest of the day to do whatever she wants. By herself. Well, and I don't think that was because healthy. it was COVID necessarily. You're COVID necessarily. I think it's important to have social interaction and not be completely isolated. Yeah, well, And this provides at least something that you see that you're not by yourself. So I've been considering like switching Layla's schools to a different district. I don't know how I'd finesse that a little bit, but you know, um, because only certain districts in Colorado are doing remote learning. It's so crazy. Like my brother's school, he's only doing it part time. And then the elementary schools in that same district are are all in class learning. Mm. It just makes like zero. Like actually in actual school? Yeah, full time. Oh. It just literally makes zero sense. So I'm annoyed. <laughs> But shout out to Zoom, by the way, because they got Skype the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Skype oh. was like... The, I never heard of Zoom before. Skype was no. like the thing. I th- I believe that, like, your theory of, like, whoever, like... The guy... Whoever, like, made Zoom, like, knew shit was about to go down. I mean, they did a great job. Or something. I don't know. I feel like they had a... They played a... Some, I mean, they definitely had some kind of incentive to make or to, played a for role it to happen. Or, um, what do you call it? Had insider info, something. Or it just worked out great for them. Or it just it's just a coincidence. Yeah, it could be. Hmm. That's the thing with all the conspiracy shit. Is like most of the time it's Occam's razor, right? The simplest explanation <laughs> is always the most likely. Like, if you can explain something simply, why would you invent a crazy complex story to justify mm-hmm. the same thing? Yeah. That could be explained by something very simple. Yeah, I guess. Which so. is easier. Um, what else has happened in, like, the news since we... Uh, That's what I was wondering. I was trying to look real well, quick on Biden's my phone. Biden's the official... No, Kamala oh, Harris. Oh, Kamala Harris is VP. The official VP. How do you feel about that? No comment. I mean, it's just how I feel about all of it. I'm just over all of politics. politics. Yeah. I it's think really like there's something Austin's wrong like with the system that this is happening. Every four years, we're like all of America is fucking disgusted and over this shit. And we're just like, make it go away. I'm sick of but this. But people like love to fight about it too. It's yeah. like it's been giving people something to do too. You know what I mean? Like if COVID hit during a non. Um, um, election year. That's the question. Would it have even hit if it wasn't an election year? That's beside the point. If it did. Okay. Like. What? I forgot what point I was trying to make. <laughs> You're talking about political division, I guess. Yeah, and like when, about it. Like, people need something to fight about right now. Yeah. They are bored. Bored in the house. And they're in the house bored. <laughs> Maybe there's something to that. I, d- I haven't really thought about that before. What do but you mean? Like, it's making people more outraged about silly things than they would be. But the thing is, like, for f- always, people have been fighting each other and killing each other and all kinds of crazy I shit. Guess. It's so annoying. So now, instead of actually fighting and killing each other, most of us are just, like, arguing with each other about politics. Like, Ew. That's so be- lame. That's probably better than killing each other. But maybe that's just that adversarial nature that human beings have to have. I like to that think we're that we're always gonna find something to fight about. People in Canyon City aren't fighting about politics. Well, that is the argument, to, like for more, um, like homogenous, uh, mm. like groups or whatever you want to say, like communities. Interesting. Like if everyone around you agrees, you're not gonna have as much conflict. Mm. Right? Or we could just not fight about anything and not care so much about things and we that could I have feel like we really and unicorns. And I feel like we just didn't ha- don't have to fight about things that I feel like we really have zero control over. <laughs> like they'd be making us think we have like a say and I'm really convinced, I really am, that we don't have a say. 
Well, that's, I used to think that, but I feel like Trump disproved that because mm. if, if it really was yeah, all being controlled by these people at the top of government mm-hmm. and your vote didn't actually matter and they already had it prearranged who's going to be president every mm-hmm. time. That's how I feel. Donald Trump wouldn't have got in. I don't Because believe, the establishment on that. either side didn't want him and didn't like him. Maybe just for show. How do you know they really didn't want him? Who's in charge? Because have you had a personal conversation? No, but he's, Didn't think so. he's way too unpredictable. And all of those people were railing, were like supporting the people against him. But and maybe, it's, trying to, maybe it's just a front. You think that's just all a game? Yeah, I do. I really do. I don't think so. I think he's too unpredictable for them for it to be part of the plan. I don't know. Whatever, I'm over it. But can't wait to see what's next. Biden and Kamala Harris. Like (laughs) I've, I don't know. The thing is with social media, it puts you in a bubble of like a echo chamber of only the people. I mean, only certain people. But it's like I I haven't talked to anyone who's like like excited or like down or likes Biden. Or Harris. No, I, I would say the majority don't, and but they're still going to vote for him. Just because they're not Trump. Yeah. That's their whole yeah. motto is just like Which, anyone but Trump. Part of me wants to see like, like, okay, so everyone hates Donald Trump, right? So part of me really wants to see like, like Biden win and like, and see how like big of a shit show, like nothing's going to, like nothing changes. Nothing gets better. Yeah, nothing gets better. Right. Like, and I, I almost really want that to happen just because then I'll prove my point <laughs> that like, no, it you doesn't would matter. Think so you would think so. But the thing is like, They're this isn't terrible. something new. This has been happening since America started. It flip flops between each party every, every f- four to eight years. Mm-hmm. And not a lot of things change regardless yeah. of who's in office. Yeah. So like, why is everyone so up in arms all the time? I blame the media. Yeah. Like that's who you should have a war with. Yeah, well. A lot of uh, that's who everyone should be outraged at. Yeah. But like but you know, Donald Trump calls attention to stuff like that and then he, he like people are like, Oh, he calls every Yeah, but like legitimate journalism a fake news and all that, like adversarial relationship with the media. And it's like like you're, uh, they're supposed to have an adversarial relationship. If the media, if corporate media and your government are like in lockstep working with each other, you need to be very afraid. They're not supposed to be working Well, that's together. why at the end of the day, for me, I'm just like, none of it. Like, whatever. Like, we have no control. Yeah, I agree about not stressing about things you don't have any control over. I would ask that you tell your brain that. Me, personally? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you, awesome. It would, I would make both of our lives a lot easier. <laughs> Just That's saying. Uh, by the way, what population sixteen thousand four hundred? Is that right? As of two thousand and ten. Uh huh. Canyon City is sixteen thousand people. It could be. That what, sounds like a lot, was, <laughs> like you a thousand. It was less than that. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to guess populations, honestly. Yes, it is. Like it's hard to estimate that. I don't know how you what you base it on. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, that whole thing with Brian. You were saying like what was that topic? About rich people. Oh yeah. So that relates back to your thing of simple life. Yeah. Like, I think. It's probably easier to be happy mm-hmm. if you live a simple, like more what they call like rural type of life mm-hmm. that isn't about, you know, grinding every day so I could buy this new car, so I could buy this new crib, so I could like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, a, it's more just about the daily existence of life. It's just about like what you do every day. That kind of more rural everyday life. Even... Big, so we're like, we're biologically programmed for that to work for us. And then social media comes. 
and even well, if you're... social media was the supercharge, what really came was like modern industrialized city mm. life mm. and all of the... But where did the materialism come from? Yeah, exactly. Consumerism and materialism. Consumerism. And my, this is what I was telling Brian. Like, I think like we're always told that happy, like that's what everyone wants to be happy. Like that's the point of life is right. to try to be happy. I don't think so. I don't think that's the no, point yeah. of life. I don't even think that's a good goal. I think happiness is a false God. Happiness was the idea that happiness is like some kind of state that you can attain mm-hmm. at, or like some place that you can occupy of like, Oh, I'm happy now in my life. I think that's a lie made up by material consumer companies so that they could sell you shit like if you had this new car you would be happy don't you want to be happy Mm. that's what everyone wants to be in life is happy if you bought our new product you would be there or you'd be closer to there and i don't think that's the point of life to be happy and i don't think it's even a good goal it's not a state that you can occupy Mm. it's an emotion Mm -hmm. like you feel angry in response to something that's happening or in a moment and then that feeling dissipates or you feel sad or you feel happy. You don't like ever attain a state of any of those other emotions, but for some reason we think you can with happiness. Would you say you you, you don't maintain a state of happiness? Me personally? Yes. Um cuz I feel like you've told me things f- to indicate that you feel like you do. I feel like generally I have um, a, a natural setting of higher positive emotion and less mm. negative emotion. But I don't think it's like a state or a setting that I'm in. I think it's just like that's what I, my like mind is set up to. But there's a difference also, a, a distinction to be made between happiness and contentment or um, happiness and like calmness and whatever the opposite of like anxiety and stress and shit is like that's something different Hmm. but i don't think uh i think that doesn't make sense as a goal for life to be happy Mm -hmm. because the thing is you can feel happy when everything's going right you could feel happy but then what do you do when things go wrong and then you're not happy anymore Mm -hmm. or it's inappropriate for you to be happy you're not going to be happy when horrible shit goes down okay so then what then there's no more point to life because you're not happy anymore no i don't think it's that what black and white tell me i mean majority i think i think People want to be happy the majority of the time. I don't think anyone expects to be happy all the time. That's just unrealistic. And I think most... Everyone knows that. First of all, don't touch me. Second of all, you're unrealistic. Why can't I touch you? I'm just joking with you. I need to rest. I feel like my whole body is like sinking into my stomach and making it feel like it's growing by the second. And I'm just really uncomfortable. Yikes. Um... What what were you saying? Like people don't expect to be happy all the time. Yeah, like you said, like people think that like the purpose most I don't know what you how you stated it, but a lot of people think the goal in life is to be happy. Mm-hmm. I mean I just think Yeah, in majority gen- of the time. In but I don't think that's real that's what's not realistic. Mm, like, for the majority of people, for the majority of life that's not the most realistic thing yeah i guess so like the more realistic thing is suffering that's what like that's a buddhist thing i think right like life is suffering like that's some real shit does well i guess islam plays like talks about that too a lot i think all religions do do they most of them yeah i think so i don't know enough about other religions to but that's but that's i think the standard setting for life is suffering and that's an inescapable aspect of everyone's life. But don't you feel like so I think the that's internet more... has made us yeah, so with the consumerism, the internet's made us think that like, yeah, happiness is attainable by buying this. 
or doing this or going this. That's the key. Money. It's 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 convinced us that happiness is the norm and y- Oh, you don't feel it yeah. right now because you didn't buy our shit. Like you yeah. should be, everyone else feels happy because everyone else got this. So how do we, how, yeah. So I guess I think we have to all make like a conscious effort to change. I don't know. How do you, how do you change like programmed marketing like that? That is not easy because it's literally brainwashing. So, I mean, I notice it with me. Like I'll like want to buy makeup all the time. So and like you it'll feel be feel happy. So you not get a little feel hit of happy. I get a little hit of dopamine for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then like Ooh, that shiny shit's things. gone quickly. Yeah. It is like literally like a a drug addict. Yeah. That shit is gone. Yeah. And I look like I have all this shit I've always wanted. I'm not ha- happy be- I'm not happy. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's that happiness because of it yeah i'm not happy because when of you it. when see that's the thing about that whole marketing idea of like you buy this to be happy yeah there's some truth to it because For you sure. do get that hit of dopamine why how how that's just how the way it works you got so some new weird. shiny thing and it feels good yeah, at first so for weird. a little while yeah and then it fades really quickly so, so I the guess key like, is like you can't the your happiness and contentment in life cannot be based on the conditions of your life. Like, mm. that's what I was talking to Brian about. It was like, the people, like, because there's this idea of like, oh, you see people with more shit than you. You see people with a nice house and a nice car and everything. And you're like, oh, they must be happy. You know right. what I mean? Like, right. they must, like, I wouldn't have any, if I had, if only I had all that stuff, I would not It's like be. our standard setting to assume that they're just... Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I think a lot of people chase money and mm-hmm. fame and all of that is in success is because they think it will give them happiness. But what I've uh, the conclusion that I've come to is it's a it's not about any of those external things. It's about you. Mm-hmm. Like if you are OK with yourself and your life when you're broke as fuck and just struggling to pay the bills every month, but you feel like all right, like, this is what it is. Like, I I mean, you love yourself, you love your family, you're, like, okay, and you're just, like, this fucking sucks, it's a struggle, I'm killing myself to pay these bills, Mm. but I don't, like, hate myself. That person gets rich, they're gonna be happy because they're already relatively happy, they're just struggling, and you remove the struggle. Yeah, but how many And then there's just less things to stress about. But the people that are, like... Yo, I hate myself. I hate my life. I'm fucking miserable. Mm. This sucks. If I just had if I just had all this money and didn't have to do all this, I would be happy. Mm. And then they get all that shit and they feel the exact same way because it's about themselves. It's about themselves and how they think about themselves and how they think about the world. So you get to that you you work hard, you get all the money, the fame, the recognition, the success, whatever. And then inside, you still feel the same way. And then you're like, damn, like, I just dedicated my entire life to what I thought was the solution to this problem. And I got it. And now it didn't solve the problem. So I think that's why. I mean, that that seems like the most crucial thing for any maybe child to learn is to love themselves and all that above anything ever. Because I think if you, you've accomplished that mentality, mm-hmm. then you'll be successful and can like grateful and I don't know, just an overall better person for the rest of your life. Yeah. So that should be the goal. Yes, agreed. But that's so hard. So is that 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 is so hard when there's a world programming you to do the opposite. Hate yourself so that you buy this, so that you feel this way. Right. That is so depressing if, when you think about it. And it's only going to get worse. For sure. No, it's only gotten worse. It's only gotten worse because of social media. Right. And it's we're just at the beginning. Of right. It. Yeah. We're just at the beginning of AI algorithms learning everything about you so they can market shit to you, so they can sell you shit. That's stressful. Like we're at the beginning of that. I could cry. That's so stressful. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to move to the south. Live on my little farm. You know? 
Yeah. And I'm make not, I'm not against it. Make farm vlogs. That sounds happy. <laughs> that sounds like happiness to me. Uh yeah. It sounds pretty good. So that's the goal. I vote for um happiness farm in Colorado, but Ew. No. I think I'm over it. I'm not. I love I'm Colorado. No, no, I'm so over it. You're such a hater sometimes. Ugh, I'm over it for some reason. Love the sunshine. Hate everything else. <laughs> <laughs> you should make a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I should. First merch. Love the sunshine. Hate everything else. <laughs> He is genius. You see what I did there? It's a good one. <laughs> what else we got? Um, so I wanted to have like s- reoccurring segments oh? on the show. Oh. And I think people should suggest ideas, but my idea was a like a top 5 list. So like we'll pick a top five, whatever it is for each episode, and then you and me can give our top five of something. Oh, yeah, so do you have your top five? Well, it depends on what you want. I didn't want to, like, uh, pre-think it out because then you would be at a disadvantage. So we got, we got to, we should, like, pick something, and then we can each make our top five. Top five? I don't understand. Like, okay, like, for example, top you could do top five, like, movies. You could do oh, top five... That's fun. Whatever, like... Just top five food. Songs, top five artists. I'm really obsessed you with food this week. Top five food, top five drinks. You could do top five coolest things ever. You could do top five worst things ever. You could do... That could be a very good... See, here's the problem. Top I five... I talk shit about marketing and sales and all that stuff, but in order to hit my goal in life... I'm going to have to participate. <laughs> <laughs> Got to play the game. So <laughs> that could easily be a little marketing segment <laughs> in, our, 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 in our podcast. What do you mean? Hopefully it's all happy things though. Like positive. Like not Top you have. Top five unicorns of all I'm going to try and make it cheap. What's cheap? My top five. Like I'm thinking of drinks, food. Oh yeah. You can't just automatically pick uh, the most expensive shit. This isn't two chain show. No, it's not. No. <laughs> um. Okay. So, do you wanna? Do we can you do that at the, the end. Spot? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that at the end. Okay. Um. What else? I got when I posted that we were gonna do a podcast. I got a couple questions. I also want to make a segment of uh, reading something every show. Oh, okay. Probably like a. A poem. A poem. Yeah. That should be at the end, too. Yeah. We could close out with that. Um, adjusting to marriage after kids. What? Adjusting to See, marriage t- this is the thing. Kids. Like, what did you ask me before? Like, what did you imagine yourself as a child when you were an adult as Someone what you would that. be as a child when you were a child? No, here. It was, how did you imagine yourself to be as grown up? As a grown-up, when you were younger. So this is the thing. People over-intellectualize things that they don't need to, and it just causes unnecessary stress. That's just women. You don't need to think... Yeah. Yeah. Also, Especially it's just women. not a woman, and he just can't relate, yeah, so like... my bad that I'm not like a neurotic, <laughs> crazy broad. Ew! You are so annoying, But sir. like, there's things that you... you, you no one wants to have more stress and anxiety than they need to. Why do so you have to make it a negative to, thing? Because, because stress, you don't think stress and anxiety are negative things? Yes, but I don't think this question had anything to do with stress and well, anxiety I'm ju- necessarily. I'm just saying, whenever you over-intellectualize things that you don't need to, it's going to cause stress and anxiety. So there's certain things that you don't need I to disagree. think about because like, there's no point in thinking about it. There's no point in dedicating your intellect to so, that. When you were a ch- child, like... So do you just I just never did that, I guess. And yeah. I'm and I'm better than you, so apparently it was the right choice. <laughs> You're so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> do you see how... Can you imagine what our life is really like behind camera? Like, Asif just full of himself 24-7. Okay, so what's your answer that's so much better? 
I think I really think I I really believe that I was going to be like a professional snowboarder or skateboarder growing up. Like I really believe that. Well, so what happened? You could have. I know I could have. What happened? What happened? I think what happened is I realized those two sports, I th- think that must have been where, like, my anxiety kicked in because I was afraid of getting, like... Getting hurt? Hurt. Because when you broke your wrists? Yeah. Yeah, that would suck. See, and it wasn't even the breaking of the wrist that scared me so much. What? It was that, like... Concussion? I could be reckless and, like, my whole body could have shattered. You know what I mean? Like that day that I broke my wrist, my whole body should have shattered. I see. This is the thing. Like this is so interesting because like stuff like that that just arbitrarily happens to you forms who you are yeah. and how you think. Like because that changed how you thought about life in general. Apparently, to me, not necessarily. I've, done, I've been doing stupid shit my whole life, and I've never broken a bone. So I've never had that like. So what? Thought. I- what? Like, I've never had to rethink my stupid choices because they've never had major consequences. Like, you, So you just got lucky. Yeah. Like, I grew up skateboarding, snowboarding, riding motorcycles. Like, and I'm, and I'm not the, like, cautious one in any of those activities. You no, know what I mean? Like, I'm not. the one that goes balls out. I'm the one that's, like, trying to push myself. And yeah. I've just never, like, really that's gotten why, really messed up. That's why it's so hard to be married to you because... Because I'm awesome? I'm the opposite, and I just Sorry that I'm fear, so awesome. Fear for your life every single time. I'm sorry that I'm In so awesome. In every single instance. Um, I don't know. Like, you can't... Um, I don't, you can't imagine what you're going to be like as an adult when you're a kid, I feel like. Or at least I couldn't. Maybe my imagination just sucks. I don't know. But I like Bingo! You, ding ding ding. How Asif dare t- you? <laughs> how dare you? You you didn't dream big, you didn't fantasize ever. I'm queen of daydreaming as a child. Oh I've my god. I've never daydreamed in was... my life. I don't even know what that is. Like I don't understand it. What a loser. Like you're having a dream while you're awake? What is that? I've, You're I've, like never, I've never playing experienced Playing out that. scenarios, I guess. You have never done that. That's what I do 24-7. See, that's why you, I think that's why you're like a creative and I'm not. Yeah. You're like, not creative? I'm no. so creative. Like you have an imagination and a creativity that I don't have. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the difference. Like I mm-hmm. I cannot relate to that. I don't even know what that means. Like I've never experienced that. That's really that. sad. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, just there are people that just don't have it. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, let's see what else I got. What do you what do you got? Um Oh, um, I feel like we've touched on a lot of these already. Do you want to talk about the coin okay. shortage? Oh, yes. 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 What's going on? They're not made. They just not you, making any more money. Yeah, that's bullshit. Y'all love to print money. So what happened? We know what happened, don't we, Austin? I mean, was this your theory or my theory? I don't Where know. I think we from? both. I'm gonna take credit. Okay. But you could tell them. No, you tell them. I think it's a um, a move to get people away from actual money and make everything digital. Yep. Facts. Like if you what just the make. F? If you make cash so inconvenient, everyone's just using cards then. And then if you and then you do cards and Venmo and Cash App and like all that becomes more convenient and more accessible uh, than cash. Like everyone has their phone on them, but you can't have paper money and coins on you because we just can't make that anymore. But apparently. shout out to Starbucks and their customer service because that like first week that that happened. Mm-hmm. I went to go, like, buy a drink, and all I had was a $100 bill. And they gave it to me for free. Oh, yeah? Nice. That's life a good hack. trick. That is a life <laughs> hack. Anywhere that you see the coin shortage <laughs> sign at, just go just there with a $100 hundy. bill. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any change. <laughs> That's a good idea. I think it probably helps if you're a pretty girl, too. I was not pretty that day. It was not a pretty day. 
I'm not sure. Um, what else? Okay, th- that's a good subject. Why are you not a pretty every day? Um, it's a it, mental if, state. If, wi- if women want to keep their relationship, you need to be pretty every day. That's your job as a, as a woman. If you want to keep your man, you need to be pretty every day. Well, some days That's I don't know if I want to keep you. That's a you. lot of work. Sorry. Some days I don't know if I want to keep you. Fair enough. But to all the bitches that do, you need to be pretty every day. You cannot take days off of looking good for your man. You can't. Because you know why? Because, oh, you think like, oh, we are secure. We love each other. That's I don't not need even, to be like do, doing that all that. Happen. I should just be able to be myself. You should love me for me. This is what I really am at home. And like, you feel, I feel comfortable around you. So now I don't have to put I don't that have work. that mentality. Listen, but a lot of people out there do. I don't know if and they do. Wh- what is it Maybe. Then? I don't know. Maybe. I can't speak for other people. Neither can you. Well, I'm telling you how guys feel. Because if I walk around as a guy... Every other woman that I see, I don't see them in their like scrub, like I'm at home being a bum look. According I see them, to who? Except for the the gross ones that are out there in the street like that. But most women have some care about their uh, appearance oh. because that's their one of their main assets. So most guys interact with all a bunch of women that have that are somewhat put together and cared about how they looked like when they left the house today. Maybe if you and live then, in Miami. And then the only woman that I'm around that doesn't give a fuck is the one that I'm with. Oh. You're gross. You're gross compared to every other woman that I interact with. That's Why am how, I with you? By the way, <laughs> this is how I got the whale nickname. It's not because I'm pregnant. <laughs> no, it is because you're pregnant. What no. do you mean? No. You don't remember? No. It was the other day I was wearing that giant XXL shirt. <laughs> and I, me, I got Layla well, and I well, the thing these is, giant XXL shirts to wear like, around the house. It and was Austin's like triple XL. Like, it really and was. gray. And, yeah. the, and the thing is, because you're pregnant, you kind of filled it out. <laughs> so <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> it didn't look as baggy I'm as it should have. not even that it big, y'all. It didn't look as baggy as it okay. should have. Well, compared to what? Well, you're against the black. We can't see you. Oh, no. Come this way. <laughs> come this way. Against the gray. There you go. Look. That's a lot of... It's a basketball. I can't even palm it anymore. Uh, but I did not fill it out that much. I just look huge right now because I'm wearing all black. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. I look big right now because I'm wearing all black, which doesn't make any sense. You'd think it'd be like slimming. I don't know. But the gray did not help. And, and then, so and Asif, then she, Asif and then was she calling... tried to tell me that all whales are blue. <laughs> because apparently the only whale she's ever seen is in like kindergarten <laughs> alphabet books. The blue whale like emoji, ne- okay? You've never seen a killer whale? You've never seen an orca? You've never seen a beluga? You've That's never not seen, what I like, was thinking. How many other whales an can I name An orca is you? not gray. But it's not blue. But it's not gray. <laughs> but I didn't say all whales are gray. I said some whales are gray. And you said, no, all whales are blue. I don't think I said that. That's what you said. Anyway. Try to change it now. That's how I got the nickname, y'all. I was wearing a three times XXL shirt. And Asif's like, you don't look like Layla in that. You look like a whale. Because Layla looks hilarious because she looks like a bobblehead or something swimming inside of a giant blanket. Like, but, yeah. It was just not... It wasn't flattering on you. So that's why, why Asif was mad. But and I was mad at him that day, so I didn't care. I knew he wasn't going to be fond of the... Giant Do shirt. Do you care now? What? Care if I call you whale? No. Oh. I like, I whale love you forever. I thought it was, I will, I whale always I will, love you. I whale always love you. <laughs> we saw that on a baby, we, we started to go baby that? shopping and we haven't found anything that I like or that you like, right? Yeah. The, everything has been just I like blah. went to um, like a Target that I thought would have... I want to buy him only suits. Asif's a crackhead. That'd I don't even awesome want him in a like suit. A super period. Fly baby wearing always, always wearing suits. No, gross. I want him to be in onesies that have little footies. What about? I'm. That's why I said if there's if there's such a thing as a onesie that looks like a suit, like that's what, what I'm gonna buy him. Hmm. 
don't hate. I don't know. I could that could be cute, maybe. Yeah. Like it just looks like it's painted on. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah. What so else? any updates about your pregnancy and how it's been for you and all that? I'm not gaining weight. Why? I don't I have effing no idea because I've never eaten so much and whatever I've wanted in you've, my life. You've never until eaten now. so much? I don't feel like you've been eating a lot. Oh, I feel like I've been eating a lot. Really? I don't think you realize how much I've been eating because I'm not eating around you so much. Apparently. They don't call you whale for nothing. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> I crave like McDonald's French fries like every day. The healthy choice. Mm-hmm. And I get them a lot. <laughs> so I don't understand how I'm not growing. I mean, will you grow? I'm growing, but I'm not gaining weight. How could you be growing but not gaining weight? You're losing it everywhere else? Yeah. or Yeah. I mean, it's the act, most active I've been in, what, five years? Oh, no, not even. Like 10. That's not healthy. Um, but yeah, I'm not gaining any weight. I've gained a pound since I became pregnant. What? Yeah. That's what she said. That's what my doctor From said. From the beginning till now, only one pound? Yes. What? Yeah. That's not good. That sounds bad. That sounds very bad. Yeah, it does. But mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing everything that I... Like, how am I not? I'm like eating... Like a crazy person. You're not. I don't see you eat like a crazy person. That's what I'm telling you. I'm sneaking food. That's how much I'm eating like a crazy person. Well, if you really were eating like a crazy person, I would see you eating. And I don't really. No, because you haven't been seeing me because that's why. That just shows you. Like, we haven't been doing the podcast because you haven't been seeing me. Hmm. Try that's again. True. That's maybe true. Um, what else new about pregnancy? I'm pretty sure we have his name. Are we going to have more kids? No. No. For sure no? N- yeah, for sure no. I cannot. And how are you planning to do that? To you, sir, that? are getting a vasectomy. That sounds sir. terrifying, and I don't know if I'm willing to do that. Oh. So what is the alternative? There is none. What if I want to have more kids? Why do you want to have more kids? What if I do? With me? It's not happening. Okay, but what if I do? Anyways. I don't know what to tell you. That's scary. You really want more kids? I don't know. Maybe at some point. No. I'm still young. No, you're not. I'm still young. Asif's gray everywhere could, on his head, by the way. Yeah, but you could have you could be a father later than you can be a, a mother. You that's what you want? What a loser. I don't know. Just like when I was a kid, I didn't imagine what I would be like as an adult. I don't know what, how many kids I'm going to want when I'm 50. No, you're getting the vasectomy and you're going to like it. I don't like it and I don't know if I want to do that. You're going to do it because Why don't you I've do the little suffered... female version of it? No, I've suffered enough, sir. Okay, Taking bene- that is not true. Yes, I. when it comes, to, like I've taken the birth control all those years... I've, 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 su- y'all. I've, n- I, that was ne- never my, like, I didn't force you to do anything ever. Okay, so you, you're okay with condoms n- for the rest of your life? But now you want to sure. force me, my body, my choice, Nero. No. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck your choice. Your body, my choice. <laughs> okay? That's what's happening. Yeah. Because, um... I'm glad that, you know, I'm filming this to remind myself, don't ever get pregnant again because you are suffering right now. You can't sleep at night. You can't breathe. Basic human necessity. I can't breathe. But that's why the notes are crucial. Uh, so in this note, I have a podcast Starting sentence with and and suck my dick. Why? I don't know. What a freak. <laughs> what is wrong with him? I don't know. Oh, uh, but but with the and thing. Remember we were writing something? I started a sentence with and and you're like, you can't do that. You can't start a sentence with and. Oh. 
You can't. No, that's just something retards say. No. Yes. According to who? According to good authors that don't follow like rules that yeah. They who made, made for the grammar rules? School By the way, who made work. those rules? I don't know, but I don't have to you follow them. And I your punctuation. I I'm agreeing with you on this one. Oh, I'm over it. I thought you were against me on this one. No, I believe. I was in... ready for battle. No, I was against you in the moment, but now that I think about it, like who the hell? Oh, if I don't want to put a period, if I want a run-on sentence, fuck off. I'm gonna write a run-on sentence. Who cares? Yeah, um, I'm sure I you know, like, Dostoevsky is my favorite author, and he'll, they'll be like, he'll have like, like 30. Really? Yeah, like, like, it's insane how, like, look, this whole paragraph is all one sentence. Like, and it'll really? have like a page that is all one paragraph. Okay, respect. It'll have like, you know, like, it's just super long sentences. Respect. And some of them start with and. Oh, if is that why? you don't why? like it. Also, it's just copying. Plagiarism. It's not copying. It's, just, it's called style. <laughs> what else? Um, do you want, I think you wrote all of these, didn't you? Mm. Do you want to talk about anything here? See, here's the problem. I wrote a lot about all that stuff. I feel like we've talked about a lot of this stuff. Uh-huh. Everybody always wants me to talk about marriage things. I'm over it. Kind of, you know, just for like a month or two. Well, we're over talking about the same things over and over again. Yeah. Like what haven't we touched on? Like the same things that people ask every single live, every Instagram live, same questions. Mm -hmm. Come up with some new material, guys. Why don't we come up with the new material? Why don't you come up with the new material? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, because here's the thing. When we talk about a lot of marriage stuff, I'm just talking shit the entire time. And I feel like you don't want to listen to like a whole shit talking podcast necessarily, right? Like, what do you mean? doesn't talking like shit me. about me? Yeah, you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do not approve of this. That's why I'm like, you won't even sit through all that. And I, I think because I think I was going through like our marriage stuff in the last like six, seven months. So it was like very relevant. I'm kind of over it. Now I'm just angry about all my pregnancy woes. <laughs> pregnancy what? Woes. Woes. Can't breathe. With running through the six? With your woes? No. What? Pregnancy woes. So like I'm over What does the that mean? Pre- I'm just over talking sorry for yourself shit about. You can't breathe and you're away? Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling so sorry. <laughs> at least you know at least you recognize it i do yeah i do shout out to all the i have a couple of... and i'm having an easy pregnancy mind you is it easier than your last one a hundred and ten thousand percent really yeah my last one i wanted to die every day your last one we decided to go to morocco in the middle of it yeah who the f- what's wrong with us What's wrong? I wasn't pregnant. I was down. That, that was terrible. Um, my The living situation was terrible. I was... So overall, mm-hmm. we're in a much better place this time. Yeah, what we are. What do you are. say? I am too. We've made tremendous progress. Yes, we have. Do you feel good about that? I do. Yes, I do. You're welcome. And I'm happy to be active. Mm-hmm. Feels good. It's Feels important. Feels good to be active. It's important. And it's getting harder and harder to get up, like, out of bed. Like, I'm literally, like, Ugh! and I'm only five months, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, only five months? Let's see. <clears throat> the baby is, Layla loves going on to my phone and at this app and looking at, the baby is the size of a grapefruit. She keeps up with it. It's really funny. That's pretty big, I feel like, for five months. Oh, if my God. If you're only and halfway he's... done, it's going to be twice as big as that. And he's wilding in my stomach, y'all. Do you think it's going to be bigger than Layla? No, I don't think so. Really? I don't think it, like, where are you going? You don't have space? Yeah. But, like, I, th- I feel like a boy is just typically going to be bigger Maybe. than a girl. Most like... of the time, I feel like. Um, I've had to deal with a lot of... 
not even a lot, just one very idiotic OBGYN. She can literally go and fuck off. I hate her so much. It's really annoying. What happened? She's just the worst. Even Is it my, still so, your... Did you change doctors? No, see, see, here's the thing. I've chosen to go with an, a midwife this time around. Instead of a doctor? Yeah. So what does that mean? So... How it was explained to me is that they're med- medically, like, complication, like medically, oh, what is the word they use? Intervene? When okay. they have to intervene medically? Yeah. That's, like, the last resort. What is? Like, medical intervention. With a midwife? Yeah. And a doctor, the first resort? Yeah, those fucking assholes i hate them what i hated him like you remember when that guy tried to cut me yeah <laughs> let's not let's not let's, this is why i can't be there i can't even think about I'm gonna that i'm gonna do a water birth this time i'm so excited i have like i'm like starting i've started um I feel like that doing my should, I don't think water I feel birth like, playlist i feel like water birth should only be for if you're having a girl why Cause it's like gonna be like half mermaid if it's born underwater. And There's... mermaid, you could be a girl mermaid and be cool, but like no one likes guy mermaids. Yeah, we do. No. Yes, huh? Merman. No one want. No one wants a mermaid. Oh, I'm having a really bad Braxton Hicks contraction. I thought you're not supposed to have contractions until you're like about to go into labor. No, this is your body getting ready for labor. So I've been getting a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions. Anyways, um, we should do else? your little poem thing. Oh, I didn't really pick one yet. Do you want to? Let's suck. do the. Let's do the top five. Oh yeah, let's do top five. Okay, top. What five. do you want to pick for our first top five? Doesn't matter. It can be anything. Sex positions. <sighs> Movies. Do we even have we even even tried five different sex positions? How dare you! <laughs> Have I we? resent that. No, we have. Really? We used to be more wild back in the day. Do you remember? Really? Compared to now, yeah. Now we have like a routine. <laughs> I, th- I mean, I like I'm the just routine. trying to cater to you, to be honest. God bless. I'm okay with my routine. <laughs> um. Yeah. So what so do you want to do for top So not sex five? positions. We'll save that one. <laughs> save that one after we experiment more. <laughs> I mean, apparently this is a conversation we have to have off of camera because mm, apparently I thought it was something else. Apparently I suck. Why well, I didn't say that. Anyways, what's your what, what do you want to do no. for top five? What do you mean? I didn't even say that. How do you? I didn't even say that. So what are you talking about? Hmm? Uh, just pick a top five, will you? No. Finish. What? What you were saying. I have nothing to say. Yes, exactly. You have nothing to say. Top five. What is a top five you could come up with off the top of your head without food. like thinking about? Okay, food. Um, one of my top what drinks. What do whales eat? This week <laughs> has been a... I went to Dunkin' Donuts. I haven't been to Dunkin' Donuts in like forever. Mm. In the last two weeks, I started going to Dunkin' Donuts and I get a small frozen coffee with caramel. It's so good. Is that the same thing as a Frappuccino? Like their version it's of like it? It's like their half-assed version of it. Oh, so we're doing drinks? No, we can do random. Food and drinks. Sure. I think you got to separate them. Nope. Okay, so it's top five. Top five pregnancy random. Pregnancy cravings. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, pickled vegetables. Is that pickled veggie med- medley? Has been one of them. Okay. Super weird. By Golchin. Is that how you say that? Yeah, I think so. Um, what else? Nuts. I really like nuts now. Out of nowhere. So weird. Like a nut medley. 
<laughs> Speaking of sex physicians. Oh, sim- gross. Nuts are gross. <laughs> Those nuts are gross. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> I really don't, but okay. Um. Oh, you know what we should talk about? What? Top five things that are going to change once we have a baby. We already have a baby. Wait, what does that count? Once we have a new baby, mm-hmm. what is going to change? I don't think anything is going to change. You don't? Nope. We, I mean, the difference is between not having a kid and then having a kid. Y'all, and once you have a kid, I your disagree. life has already changed. I and totally disagree. Additional children doesn't change it that much. I totally disagree. Unless you have like eight of them. That's nope. a big difference. I disagree. Also, my milk's already coming in. TMI. Delicious. Breast milk is disgusting. <laughs> it smells really gross. It's gross. The only person that's benefiting is baby. Hmm. Um... But it's literally, like, I wake up and I'm like, my shirt's wet. Like, that's how much it's coming through. Cool. (laughs) Not really. I don't know. I don't know. This is hard. Top five. It should be top five rando. Just top five of anything? Yeah. No categories? Yeah. That doesn't even make sense then. You have to have a category. For a top five. We just keep having technical difficulties. I'm sorry we're really rusty. It's been a month since the last one came out. It has it? Yeah. Oh my god, we're terrible. Yeah. I just looked at it and it's oh, a, a month ago. Shut up. Oh yeah. my god. Weeks go by fast lately. For real. I blame 2020. Yeah. But we need... We need to put content... For people that are still in quarantine. We got to we gotta do, um, this is the thing. Even if it's a super fast, quick podcast, we I still got to do it once a week. Yeah, I agree. Even if it's Not 20 like minutes long. long. Yeah, totally. Um, top five eyelash. I really love these. Okay, you're lashes. not allowed to choose the subjects for the top fives because you're horrible. So we're You're the do, one that wanted sex positions. We're going to do... That's way more exciting than drinks mixed with food and eyelashes. I do gotta say. Okay, fine. What? Never mind. Wait, what? You gotta say what? Oh, nothing. Excuse me. Hello. Well, we we're gotta editing have people... a lot of this out. We gotta have people leave comments of suggestions for top fives. Like okay, that. maybe that's what we'll do. Top fives. What Next are your top time. five favorite things, just in general? Since you don't want to do a, a category, sleep. Want to do broad shit. Being able to breathe—it's a newfound love of mine. Yeah. Underrated. Um, shower. Love water. I just love water in general. Being in water. She's a whale. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, um. How many did you do? I almost did. I'm, I think I have one more. Okay, last one. Drum roll. Is what? What was the subject again? <laughs> I don't know. Your favorite things. My favorite things. I love eating. It's a very pregnancy-related top five. (laughs) Yeah, for real. It's very relevant to the times. Um, What are your top five? Favorite things? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go backwards. Number five is Samurais. Number four is... Um, maybe volcanoes. Number three is dinosaurs. Oh my god. Number two is space. What are you, five? And number one is definitely sex. (laughs) (laughs) All three positions. (laughs) Who says we only do three? You, apparently. I didn't say that. 
Why are you getting all defensive now? Because I didn't say that. You got defensive first. I didn't say we only do three. I just said, oh, did I not? Oh, is that why you th- implied threes? Because I couldn't come up with five? Yeah. Oh, geez. Well, that means five is more. Whatever. You. <laughs> but I still like it better than anything else. So that's my top five. <laughs> wow. Mine were so different. <laughs> <laughs> what were mine again? We'll have to watch it back. Water, being a whale, <laughs> eating food, plankton, <laughs> swimming with dolphins. Uh, being able to breathe, remember? Being able to breathe and then shoot water out of your air hole when you come up for more air. Um, we do have some voice memos oh, yeah. that you I need to play. Hit us with some of them. Did you listen to them already? I think so, but I forgot it's been a while. Because if they're whack, we're editing, editing them out. We have... Oh, uh, we did the Daniel one. We have three. All right, let's do at least one. No, we're doing three. All three? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how the first one goes. Hi, guys. Hope you're doing well. It's Sarah from Germany. I really enjoy your podcast. My question is, when are you going back on your YouTube channel? Because I really, really miss your blogs. Oh, hey, Sarah girl from Germany. Auf Wiedersehen. That means goodbye, doesn't it? I know. I'm sorry. That's all I know. Echte gut schlafe. What is that? This is the good shit? Did you sleep well? Oh, it sounds like this is the good shit. (laughs) That too. Basically. Esther Gutschlafer? Esther Gutschlafer? Sounds like it's the good shit. Anyways, um... Well, this is like... Here's the thing. I really wanted to do pregnancy vlogs, but my pregnancy hasn't been vloggable. Why? I don't know. I'm just... We're not doing anything. COVID ruined everything. Besides three positions? (sighs) Anyways. That's all we do is three. <laughs> um, I can't don't have an that. answer. <laughs> I mean, you can. You just can't post it. It's on the OnlyFans <laughs> coming soon. That's gross. Uh, um, okay. Well, this is hopefully going the, to... The plan was... The plan was this was supposed to motivate that yeah. also partly, but we can't even do this more than once a month. So pray for us. Say a prayer. We're trying, okay? But that should we're trying. be... We're, the intention is for that to go along with this. So we yeah. have stuff on that channel with vlogs and yeah. whatever other lame stuff that you want to do. And then we have the, the podcast on this channel. We should have both going at the same time. Yeah. So hopefully soon, inshallah. The plan is always soon, inshallah. So, okay. Here's another one. Hi. <laughs> This is so awkward. Um, I'm sending this voice note from London. I don't really want to say my name, but um, I just came across your video. I used to follow, um, well, I still do follow Nora, Nora's main channel for many years. Um, And I just wanted to say regarding this podcast, um, the one about entanglement, mashallah, it was so good. Um, Parts of it got me emotional, parts of it was having me laughing um and i just wanted to say mashallah nora allah you're so beautiful and i love the way asif has um grown as a person mashallah i'm really happy to see that and um also i pray that inshallah allah allah reunites you both in jannah ameen and may allah take care of your children for you ameen oh my god that is the sweetest voice memo ever what is the accent She's from London. But is that like a specific, is there specific types of London or is London one? I think London's one. Birmingham is another. What did Layla want? She ruined it. I don't know. God damn it. Do you want to pause it and ask her? That was really sweet. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. Oh, I think Jolly's parents are here. You seem angry. I'm fucking angry. This is the last podcast I'm ever filming ever. That's how I feel. It's a bit extreme. Well, I feel you just said it. You said it. What did I say? That I'm such an extremist the yeah, other day. You are. You go from one extreme to the other. Yeah, well. There's no middle ground. This is why. Just, just 
to let you guys know, I reserved today for the podcast. And then Asif decides to make plans with Layla and have a play date. And everything's just getting effed up, so I'm pissed. All right, play the next, play the next question. Thank you for that last sweet one. Oh, yeah, we didn't Sorry, really Layla respond ruined to it, it. And Asif, it's actually Asif's fault before it's Layla's fault because I told him no play dates today. And that's why she had to barge in the room because Playdate Girl's parents were here. Anyways. No. You don't want to say anything to London Girl? Thank you so much, London Girl. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. Also, if you do a better accent than I do. Of London? I don't even do a good London accent. <laughs> I'd be thinking think in my so. head that I do. Oh my God, I'd be watching my old vlogs back. Yikes. Cringe. All I gotta say. Next. Okay. Hello. Um, I think when you guys were talking about um, the how kids are like killing themselves and stuff, um, I feel like it's more these days because like kids these days they don't they don't just come home from school and just spend time with their families i feel like they're just being pressured at home too like there's just they're always on social media they're they're like you like your daughter um she's playing video games she's listening to them you know, Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, Snapchat, you know, they're just. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> they cut off. I wonder if there's like a time limit. There must be. Seems like it. Um. That's. I don't. I don't think that's. I like... don't know if it's like actually. A that thing that we spend are spending less time with our families now. Is yeah, it? I don't know. I mean, maybe it is. I'm not really sure. I feel like uh, we just ignored our loved ones in different ways back in the day. And she was saying the. Co- the thing is, like, mm-hmm. there was some kind of like it does kind of make sense to say like. Oh, by the way, thanks for sending the voice memo. They're yeah. They're getting that Thanks social pressure nonstop. Like, even when, like, it doesn't end when they get home. Like, it's still going yeah. on the computer. But the thing is, like, kids would play with all their neighborhood friends or whatever after school, and they were getting social pressure from there. I don't know. It was more simpler, I think. Everything was more simpler. Yeah. How, wait, why has that changed? How's things become less simpler? You'd think it'd be more simple with technology. Why technology is complex and is continues it? to get more complex. Everything gets more complex. Mm. Life on this earth started as single cellular mm. organisms, and then it gets more and more and more complex gotcha. as it diverges. Mm. Everything Interesting. does. Interesting. Well, yeah. sorry if we've been rusty. Thank you so much for sending all the voice memos, everyone. Those are fun. Um... The link will be down below where you can send your own if you're cool enough. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, but I really appreciate you taking the time to do that. I love hearing y'all's voices and opinions and thoughts. And yeah. I feel like we didn't. Did we talk about anything that we can fight about in the comments though? No. Yes. That's you always thing. you always will talk about something. I promise you they'll find something. Yeah, but usually Y'all it's like an argument type of thing that we can oh, do I'm in the comments. Oh, I'm sure we talked about something that they'll find to fight in the comments about. Mm. I'm sure. Y'all okay, well, have a field day. To amaze me. <laughs> Anything mm. else you got? Um, Anything else you want to um, say? Um, 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 it's time to go eat Taco Bell. Hey, that sounds good. Mm-hmm. Shout out 
chance to talk about for ruining their menu, though. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did they change it now? Yes. It, what's what's it, did they add new stuff or they just took half of it away? I think they added new stuff, but they took away the potatoes, which they are so wrong for that. I feel like n no one got that though. Like no, a lot people. of people got it. A anytime lot of I anytime I like ordered it or setting something about it, like no one else had even heard of it. It definitely wasn't as common, I guess. I don't know. People didn't even know about it. I feel like, but. Thanks so much for watching or listening wherever you are. If you have any um, podcast topics that you'd like us to include in the next one, feel free to um, DM me on the Nora's Eyes. All our social handles will be down below. So if you could follow us there. Thank you for your continued love and support. Or if you watch it, subscribe. No love and no support. If you watch it, subscribe. The last one had like 10K views and... Yeah. The subscribers at like 1.5 or something. It's like. If you watch it and don't subscribe, you're a hoe. And your mom's a hoe. <laughs> if you watch it and don't subscribe, your mom's a hoe. <laughs> That's science. Um, Please rate us on Apple Podcasts. That helps us chart. We'd be charting in like. Random ass random countries. Random ass countries. Shout out to the random ass countries. Yes. Oh, I have some good topics for next one, I just realized. Okay, good R talk. Write them down so we don't forget. We will see you guys next week. It was real. It was not real. It was Today was a real. shit show, just like remote learning and COVID. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>